Six years to the date of the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement between Northern and Southern Sudan, Southern Sudanese turned out in mass to vote on whether or not the two regions would remain a united country or if the South would officially secede from the North. Voters began lining up long before sunrise, each one vying for the chance to be the first to cast his or her ballot. By the time polls opened at 8 a.m., the two lines of male and female would-be voters at St. Casita polling station had grown to around 1,000. Despite hours-long wait, the mood was joyous but calm. Voters waved their electoral cards after sealing their choice with a thumbprint. Most were overwhelmed with the emotions of the day. I feel as if this is the best moment for me in life, the best chance for me in my life. So I have no one even to express my joy and happiness. The long-awaited vote will usher in a new era for Sudan. The Comprehensive Peace Agreement helped put an end to over 50 years of intermittent violence that resulted in over 2 million deaths and 4 million displaced people. Regardless of the vote outcome, the future of southern Sudan is riddled with obstacles. Decades of conflict decimated southern Sudan's infrastructure, leaving an undereducated population with a minimal to non-existent medical care system, access to safe drinking water, or basic staples like a reliable agricultural industry. In the two months leading up to the referendum vote, more than 140,000 southerners living in the north have returned to the homeland they escaped years ago. With little more than 30 miles of paved road and a swath of land roughly the size of Texas, the government of southern Sudan will be hard-pressed to meet the needs of its optimistic people. While the historic vote seals an important chapter for the people of Sudan, the story of what comes next is just beginning. It will take the combined efforts of the Sudanese and the global community to ensure that southern Sudan's future is a prosperous one. <laughs>